How's it going guys? I'm very happy to say welcome back to another episode of Ice Fishing Lake Erie. The last video you guys saw was from day one and day two of this trip. Very bad days, believe it or not. It got way worse. It was sustained 20 to 25 mile per hour north winds with uh, gusting to 40. So we were like, okay, you know what? We're going to go fish Sandusky Bay, fish for some crappie. Long snowmobile trip out to the harbors. Then we caught nothing in the harbors. And about three quarter of the way back, our uh, snowmobile actually decided to, to die on us. And all three of us had already decided that, you know, we were kind of done with Lake Erie. The bite wasn't that good. We weren't really catching all that much. The weather was really poor. So before the day even started, we decided that we were going to head out. And then the snowmobile went out on us. And that was just two, two and a half hours of hell, basically. The two buddies I was with decided that they had had enough. And I really did too, but I didn't want to quit on Lake Erie, you know. It, like I said, I've been waiting to fish this place for two years now. It's finally safe ice. I don't want to take it for granted. We could get a warming trend and all this ice could go away in like two to three weeks. So since there's safe ice in Erie, I wanted to do everything I could to stay out here. Big thank you to my buddy Josh. I'm sure you guys remember him. I will be fishing with him tomorrow and the next day. But today, it is Friday, and he hooked me up with a bunch of his buddies that are just so set up and dialed. We took like an epic train out here with like seven or eight snowmobiles and quads. They all have a bunch of shanties. I mean... They gave me a shanty all to myself, which, I mean, the hospitality is just amazing. I can't thank these guys enough. But enough backstory. Hopefully, we'll start catching some fish here. Right when I set up my graph, I saw some fish cruising through, so we should get on some walleyes. These guys know what they're doing. They aren't beginners like me. I got my pan optic set up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that head cam again because a lot of you guys actually said you like the head cam. I'm going to have this camera on the graph to show you guys exactly what's going on. Let the walleye slang begin, hopefully. We're all set up now. Oh, wow. Look at this. What is going on there? I don't know what that was. I hope the GoPro captured it because I couldn't turn my big camera on in time. But a bunch of fish just showed up at 10 feet. I do not know what those are. There's a lot of fish activity in this area. I like that a lot. I hope it's not too long before we hook up with our first walleye. We got our bait set up. We got the heater on. Oh, there's... Either I have a fish or the other line. I think I have the other line. Oh, that's what these are. Okay, that is what keeps showing up. Giant gizzard shad. And these things smell, so I do not want that in the shanty. First catch, day three, Lake Erie. Giant gizzard shad, they keep moving through. So that answers my question about the really high bait marks. That's just shad. That's a good thing though, that's bait. Like I just said, there's a lot of fish activity here. The apex predator, the Lake Erie walleye, should not be far behind the bait. Coming up to me, come on. Eat it, eat it. Got this mark up to 12 foot now. Still won't hit it. He's almost a 10 foot of water all the way from the bottom. That was the first mark of the day. As you guys saw, I raised him from the bottom. Literally to 10 foot, you still wouldn't hit it. Not even set up yet, just got the GoPro. That's a good sign that we are on a good spot. I can't believe that fish didn't hit though. I got him up to 10 foot. Sometimes they just don't want it. Come on fish, I got one racing up to me right now. Come on fish, I keep rising him, he's at 20 foot. He's chasing me pretty hard, but he won't hit it. This is just like the last one. He's right on me, right at 15 feet now. Not sure if these are walleye. Walleye are usually much more vicious and ferocious than this. Come on, how high am I gonna bring this guy? Oh, now he's going down. Now he's going down and to the right. Let's see if I can get his attention again. Nope. He went down that way, so he's at least five, six feet to the right. This is two fish in a row now that I've gotten to chase up the jig and wrap and they have not committed. So maybe I will switch to the spoon. This is all I'm working on this route. This is the one I caught fish on the other day. It's just a jig and wrap with minnows on the hook. I only have one left, but you kind of only need one. It's best to have a minnow on each hook so that you always know that you have at least one minnow because they do rip off. Oh, looks like I got a fish on the spoon. Oh, yeah, I do. Come on. Come on. Please hit it. Please hit it. Come on, Lake Erie. Give me some more walleye. Got this one up to 15 foot now. This might be the same fish. I'm not sure. Oh, and he shot back down. Look at that. Shot down and to the right. Other people in our group have been catching a couple, so 
I'm going to assume that these are walleye. They're just... Ah, they're just not really that aggressive at all. Maybe I'm working the bait wrong. I'll have to experiment a little bit. I've tried slowly twitching it. I've tried ripping it. I'll have to catch a fish to see how they're going to get triggered. Alright. Finally hooked up with one of these things. I think it's a perch. Got him down to about 15 feet. Oh, no. It's a pretty good sized walleye. Okay. Not a perch. Not a perch. No. Come on. Out of the hole. Alright. Woo! First walleye. It's a pretty damn good one, too. I think. Obviously not that good a one for Lake Erie, but I'm not used to catching nice sized walleye. Hell yes. Didn't have the big camera on that one for you guys because I thought it was just another perch, but this mark was acting much differently. Here, let me turn the camera on real quick for you guys to show you what's going on. So right there's my jig and all those little marks under them, that's just little perch and they've just been moving slow. They've just been hanging around. This fish was a big mark that came from the right and it shot up super aggressively. I was ripping this rip and wrap really hard. Got this guy up to 15 feet. And uh, he smoked it. I'm learning with every minute, every fish with this panoptics unit. I can tell the perch move pretty slow. The walleye like to rip and move really fast. So I got a mark down there right now, but he's just kind of chilling. He's hanging slow. I'm just going to guess that's a perch. There he is. This is probably a perch. It's not very heavy. Yep. Figured that's what these most of what these were. Perch. Nice one though. That is good for me to know. That is just more information to put the puzzle pieces together. Those fish in the bottom that are acting real slow, lethargic, they are indeed perch. We'll figure this out by the end of the trip. I am not gonna quit. One nice walleye, a shad, and a perch so far. Come on, little perch. If you're big enough, I'll keep you and eat you. Perch is my favorite fish, as you guys know. Oh yeah, we came up and smoked it. Another perch. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to be keeping this one. On the phone with Josh, and I think I have a walleye. I was toying with what I thought. Ooh, this is a good one. Well, this is a good one. I thought it was a perch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, come on out of the hole. Yes, no. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Josh, what do you have to say? Did you get it? Oh, I got it. No, don't go back in the hole. Josh, I'm going to have to hang up. Josh, what do you have to say to the viewers? You'll be in the video tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I'll catch one twice as big. <laughs> awesome. Sorry, guys. I uh, I thought I was toying with little perch, and then this pretty nice guy showed up. No. Nope. No. Nope. They're slimy. Okay. Let me set up the big camera this time. Hopefully he doesn't fall in the hole. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. See? See? They're slimy. What was that, Chris? Yeah, oh, like a four or five pounder, but I'm trying to get a double. If you open the zipper, you'll probably see a pretty funny situation. Another one on the screen? Yeah, yeah I just, just had them, but... Just grab that, just grab that bag back there. You got them still? Do you want them? I don't really want to keep them. You can throw them back if you want. Somebody right. will eat them. It's up to you. You can keep them or throw them You think back? someone will eat them? Oh, somebody always eat them. All right, I'll keep them then. Yeah, you guys we, getting them too? The guys, Tyler and I got four walleye, four perch. Ginger's got two walleye, two perch. These guys over here got about two to three walleye a person also. Gotcha. Yeah, I've gotten two walleye, like three or four perch. All right, so that was Mark, one of Josh's buddies that's got me out here and all set up. You've heard him. We're definitely around the fish today. Like I said before, I've, I'm learning this Lake Erie deal. I haven't even been ice fishing for walleyes too much in my life, so I don't know which one's a walleye, which one was a perch. I was talking to my buddy Josh and I thought the Mark was just a little perch and then boom. I'm not sure if I had the camera running or not. I don't think I did, unfortunately, but there's another really nice walleye for you guys. We are on them. About an hour and a half into the day, like you just heard, Mark has caught four. Everyone's really catching them, so we're in a great spot, obviously. The fish are around, and the two I've caught have not been small ones. That's the good thing about Lake Erie. When you get the right ones, they are all big. Chris, What's up? Tyler got this one. This is why you come ice fishing. This is why we come ice fishing? Oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on. So a guy in our group just got this one right here. What's that? That's why you come to Lake Erie? Yeah, probably a 30 incher. We didn't bring a measuring board the first trip, but that's why you fish with the wolf pack. That is giant. We're looking right now. 
Yeah. Josh is at work and I'm FaceTiming him about how the ice is. Because like I told you guys before, he's going to come out with us tomorrow and the next day. But <laughs> holy crap. That is why you ice fish Lake Erie. That is why I was dying to come back out here and not give up. I need one that big. That had to be a 10 pounder. Was that a 10 pounder, Josh? I mean, you weren't here, obviously, but Josh goes, oh yeah, that thing was a hog. So this is why Lake Erie is so awesome. I just popped out of the shanty actually to get a better picture of that uh, fish for the thumbnail and stuff for you guys. But there are shanties everywhere. There are ATVs everywhere, shanties everywhere. I mean, there's gotta be hundreds of shanties out here. And we're still marking so many fish. We're catching so many fish. I'm sure a lot of these people are catching them too. Don't know why the bite was so tough for us first and second day, but I am so glad that I came back out and fished Lake Erie. I just got to get one now. I know I'm talking to the camera so much, but I mean, I've never seen a walleye that big, except for the one last year with Perrick on Lake Winnipeg. Well, I'm now freezing. I'm going to go back in the shanty now because it is zero degrees and very windy. All right, it's time to get extra serious now. Anytime you see a 10 plus pound walleye, it always gets you in a special zone of concentration. Any one of these marks now could be a giant fish now that I know that they're around. It's amazing how much walleye on this lake travel. They're just in heavy right now, obviously. We're in a very good spot. My confidence is very high for a big fish. Oh yeah. What do we got here, perch? What do we got here, perch? Oh, little walleye. Little guy. Little guys came through, and there's more down there. This is a baby one. This is not the 10 pounder I'm looking for. I don't even think that guy was the legal size limit, which is 15 inches. He hit it immediately. Good deal. That is two walleye for the jig and wrap and one for the spoon. Little update for you guys here. Hopefully this is an AP bass and update and I hook a big fish while giving you guys the update and then scream when I lose it. No, I'm just kidding. If you guys haven't checked out his lake trout video that he just posted, it's actually very good. I'm gonna give my buddy props on that one. That was an awesome video. Now we're in a little bit of a midday low right now because right when I saw that giant fish, right when the guys I'm with caught that giant fish, uh, up to that point, I was marking a ton of fish. I was catching decently consistently. I was at least seeing a lot of action, a lot of fish in the area. Since then, about like, I wasn't seeing much after that, but then a half hour later, I did catch that smaller walleye. And it's been at least an hour since I caught that small walleye. And it's kind of in the Dead Sea since then. I've heard that this lake kind of is, is tougher midday. It's better morning and evening, which makes sense, especially because we have super high sun right now. But not really marking anything. I think I've had three or four marks in the last hour. And I'll, I'll bring them up a tiny bit, and then they just disappear every time. Just very disinterested fish. Hopefully, I'll get another mark and get him interested, but even the ones that I am marking, like I said, they're, they're not doing it. They're not committing. They're not eating. All right, none of us have really been marking anything for the last hour. Fish have just totally shut off, so we are going to start the packing up process. I will see you guys once it's all over. All right, so the day is now over. I'm actually back at Josh's house. We're going to be fishing the next two days with me, Josh, and Jack, but... I didn't really give you guys a, a good explanation of who I was fishing with today. To be truthful, I didn't really know the situation either. Josh just said like, hey, you can stay with me instead of going home. My buddies are going out tomorrow if you want to go fishing with them. I was like, hell yeah, sure. So Josh, sitting right here relaxing, he's going to tell you guys exactly who that was. Go. So that was actually this past summer I worked on the head boats up on Lake Erie. And he was one of my bosses and he's one of the best fishermen I know. And he's a diehard ice fisherman. So... He saw that we were getting good ice this year and he decided to make his own guide business. And he was just kind of doing a trial run with some of his guys and he took Chris out and you saw what happened. They caught that <laughs> 10 and a half pounder. So. Yeah. <laughs> like this was his trial run. We went out for like four hours. He hadn't been out in the season and we all caught fish and he caught a 10 pounder. So thank you very much, Mark. You obviously know what you're doing. I will link his guide service and all that stuff down below. This was not like an official guide trip by any means. They have like much bigger rigs. They've got thermal shanties. We'll set you up right if you want to fish Lake Erie because if you've never been here before this can be a very dangerous lake this is definitely a place to hire a guide so he is definitely a great option if you guys want to come out here later in season and do some ice fishing i will leave his stuff down below in the description like i said they're also starting on january 20th hernan charter so you heard it there out. first so again thank you very much to mark next couple days me josh and jack going to have a blast going back out on lake erie <laughs>